guys, welcome back to another video. So today I am playing The Sims 4. But as you can probably see, I'm not playing the Reverend Twins, but because you're basically trying to find a good way to get the plant sims. So I well, I did some CC shopping with a friend of mine and I put them all together and I and I thought look like a good sim as you probably see in front of you and so I decided to do a hundred baby challenge I don't know why it just <laughs> I just seen it quite a lot of them and yeah I suppose it gave me some inspiration so yeah so this is oh sorry I <laughs> forgot a name already this is Bailey Fal Falcon and this is a house it's like the it's like a base house but um uh, yeah i spent most of my money on it and i don't want to cheat because i don't well except for the raven twins i've pretty much <laughs> most of the time cheated like in my current households so i didn't cheat and so yeah, I hopefully gain some money over time. Yeah, because right now I've got one thousand five hundred ninety-one simonians. Because I don't know if you guys can see that. But uh, anyway, it's the house. This is the house. Uh, there's an upstairs well, I think. Oh no, maybe not. Okay. And if I put the walls up. This oh oops. Hang on guys. <laughs> this is a house. Wait, if I put the There you go. This is her house, yeah. And yeah, it's a bit plain, but as I was saying, I got the biggest house in this area and I didn't really want to go to any of the other places because it gets kind of repetitive. <laughs> So, anyways, we need to go on the 100 baby challenge. Um, so, are there any guides out there? Yeah, w I don't mind, like, if she likes girls or anything, but it's just, I don't, but I'd have been the challenge is for adopting oh oh i'll say the rules of the challenge quickly objective for the 100 baby challenge is to give birth to 100 babies in as few generations as possible it ends as soon as a hundredth baby is born you lose the challenge if you break the rules or if you matriarch ages up to an elder without there being a heiress uh, 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 to take over so the setup so you create one female young adult sim, or download one from the gallery, which I made one myself. Is this your starting matriarch? Hang on, I'll just go, I'll just go to her. There you go. Anyway, <coughs> this is your starting matriarch. One of the suggested that you pick at least one trait to help you in the challenge, such as romantic, family oriented, or creative. The appearance of traits are up to you. Yeah, I picked family oriented and romantic, so. So, your matriarch can be an alien, your matriarch cannot be a vampire, she is just a normal sim. She isn't a vampire, because if I click on her, there's any dark meditation or anything, and also she's out in the sun, but she's not burning, so she's not a vampire, and she, ca and she can't be an alien, because I haven't got to get to work, so. <laughs> um, moving. You can move your matriarch into any house or lot you desire. You must only... You must use only the starting funds provided. You can't use cheats of any kind that give you free lots or more money. Make sure you can move at any time as long as they can afford the new house or lot without the use of cheats. Okay. So lifespan. In the game's option, set the lifespan to normal. And either enable auto-aging for paid households or for any of the active households if you want to play for your make sure children as well. You can decide whether you want the Chinese to age or not. So if I go and... 
If I go to settings, uh, game options, uh, gameplay, would it be in? Yeah, everything's auto aged. Yeah. Okay. And then, uh, you can decide if you want the tiny stage or not. If you allow them to age, they might die before you're able to have babies with them. If you don't allow them to age, you might run out of fathers at some point. We're talking of the neighborhood with potential fathers. Maybe Dennis need it, so I can make my own sims if I need to. Aging. Children are aged up as follows. Babies can be aged up on their natural birthday. Okay. Toddlers can be aged up either when you reach, can be aged up either when you reach levels three nor skills. Or, the, or when they max out three skills or on their natural birthday. Children can be aged up as soon as they get an A in school or on their natural birthday. Teenagers can be aged up as soon as they get an A in, in school as well as well or on their birthday. Seven children. You may sure it can all be get pregnant by the same sim twice. One pregnancy per father. Pregnancies resulting in multiple births are fine and each child is still counted towards the total. You may sure can give birth to hospital. However, please be aware that the ley line lottery only works if you keep conceive and give birth at home, so she probably won't be able to have twins in a hospital. There are no restrictions as to who can father children in the challenge, but none of the fathers can move into the household or contribute to any way other than impregnating the matriarch once. Okay. You can adopt children without penalty. However, they do not count towards the total, so it's not recommended to do so. And yeah, I only have um, I only have uh, the eight. I haven't got any like extra slot, you know, like the mod where you can get like unlimited people. But if you guys do have a link that's like safe, then could you please let put it in the comments below so I can use it for future. And you can use it in this challenge as well. So, anyways, your children's traits aspirations have to be randomised. You cannot choose them yourself. You can either use the random trait generator from Pinstar's Legacy Challenge, which can result in the child inheriting a trait of its parents. Or if you don't want to bother finding out the father's traits, you also use this random trait generator. Or you can even use dice. There's like links, like yeah. Wh wh whatever way you like to go about it, as long as the traits are randomized, is fine. You're not allowed to influence the gender of the children. Therefore, you may sure can kind of listen to pop or alternative during her pregnancy, as she may not eat carrots or strawberries either. Okay. Huh. Changing matriarchs. When your matriarch becomes an elder, the last daughter she had takes over and becomes a new matriarch. If the new matriarch is not yet a young adult, the old matriarch has to stay on the lot to raise her. Once the new matriarch is a young adult, you can move the old matri matriarch to make room for more children. If there are still any of these children left in your household at the time of a matriarch change, they must remain in household to be raised by the new matriarch, as usual, in order to be counted. Your matriarch can only get married when she becomes an elder, and her last daughter is ready to become the next matriarch. Okay. Once she is married, however, she has to move out of the household to live with her husband. She can have boyfriends while she's of childbearing age, but she can't become engaged to them, nor can, she, nor can any of them move into the challenge house. Children who have reached a young adult life stage can move out of the household to make room for more children, but you can never move back in. Okay. You're not allowed to make more room in a household by killing off underage shims. For that reason, you may charge children only count towards 100 babies once they have reached the young adult life stage. Okay. The only exception to this is, is when the 100th child is born. At any point, any of your children are counted and the challenge ends. Whew. <laughs> There's a lot here. Careers. Your matriarch or heiress heiresses can have a job that requires them to leave the lot. They can make money by any of the means, for example, selling their paintings, books, or garden produce. Your matriarch may own a retail business. However, this is required to invest a lot of money in print, and you have less time to bring up the children's grades and skills. Your matriarch may have any of the careers that came with city living. However, they must always work from home. Changes of 
can I create to contribute towards the household funds? And everything, yeah, and they can't, they cannot need the lot. But they can visit any lot to find collectibles, hunt for donors, or pay for tips. Or she could go on vacation, which I do not have, so. And I cannot use any custom content or mods that give an unfair advantage. So I haven't got anything, it's just, it's just the clothes. Oh. Oh, I can't have the mod which allows you to have eight sims in a household. Okay, scratch the <laughs> leaving down in the comments then. Um, yeah, you're allowed to use any and all cosmetic custom custom content though. Okay, so basically, uh, you're allowed to. Okay, I'm allowed to get a nanny or schedule made, but not the police services raw trait. Okay. Th so that's good. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> so, I think I want to buy an easel. So then she can make some money. And then, hopefully, to be the. Uh, what is it? <sighs> What's it called? What's it called? Uh, the when the people come round and give you like cake and stuff when you first arrive, them. <laughs> I can't remember what they were called. Yeah, so she's called. I know I already said it. Just a reminder, Bailey Falcon. Okay, I'm gonna tell you guys this. I never experienced death in The Sims. And I probably will, because then she'll have to die of old age. Or I can move her out. Because I don't, I, I don't want to see them die. It's gonna be really sad, because you get like, really attached to them, and then suddenly, like, dead. So. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have her move out with, like, her last. with the last person that gave her a child, basically. Oh, yes. I also made her really thin, because if she, because she can't like really leave the lot, um, like she might gain <laughs> some weight. So, yeah, because I see I've seen like over hundred baby challenges where, like they make this like the Sims gain weight and then, yeah, and then they spent like most of the time like trying to like make them lose weight and then. It gets really complicated and stuff like that. So I, I, w I don't want to waste time. So I just, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ooh, she's making a fruit painting, I don't know. <laughs> and also the, uh, no, not that. Here. She is family orientated, childish, because I thought if she wants to watch like children's TV, then, or like play with the children, and she won't like get bored or anything, so that's, oh whoops, that's why I made her childish. <laughs> and yeah, she's family oriented, romantic, childish, and domestic. So yeah, so that's Bailey. Ah. Uh. And I'll just wait till the um, the people come over, and I'll be right back. Sorry, I'm back. I just had some like bang on the door outside. <gasps> yes. Wait, oh, it's a teen. Why? Just invite him in. Why'd you have to be a teen? Oh. I uh, actually thought I had the man. <laughs> Why do you have to be a teen? Then 
Massa? Soy Briff. Fina Cliff. Wait, wait, wait. I heard a voice outside. What was that? Oh, it's her. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't want to do the plant sim challenge. Uh, it's an old guy. No, that's not me. Who are you? Ah, they're coming now. I could have an elder. Can I? I could. I could. I don't know. That would be kind of weird though. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go back to her. Oh yeah, she could go to that party too. Good party. I think it's more money than they actually are. Like, I actually bought it for, so. Yeah, I go and talk to them. Okay, I think that's I know. Yeah. Okay, friendly introduction. Erin Boya. <laughs> Yay! The welcome wagon. There might be some other people coming in, I don't know. Why you have to be the first <laughs> victim? <laughs> oh, gotta let him in. Go, come here. Okay, there you go. Oh, <sighs> these sims. <laughs> Oh, I wish I had, um, what was it? No, I don't want to be in conversation, thank you. What is it? Um, city uh, living, uh, so like a stargaze and it yeah. just takes quicker. Uh, then it got young. Oh, is it locked? Ah. Uh -huh. Hang on. How about if I lock it then unlock it? Now can she come? There's no match with the store. I'm just gonna. <laughs> no! Uh, <sighs> I'm already having problems already right now. <laughs> okay, door. So. Let's get them. They're not there. 
Now can you let him in? Can you do it? <laughs> Yay! Got the chooser? Dama. Oh, Fina. <laughs> Joke about weird animals, yeah. Ziffle. Polka, yips, yips. Ah, Vula Shaka Deeds. See my neighbor. Oh, hang on, hang on, cool. hang on. Game, ah. game, stop. <laughs> game, game. <laughs> if he's my neighbor, that'd be way uh, easier. Okay, I'll go with him anyway. <laughs> he just walked into my house, so. Oops. Zombo Skiba, Zuba Tuba. Okay, I think it looks like I'm Johnny Zest then. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the, all these guys could be like ah, once he ages up, he could, yeah. Do one more interaction, friendly interaction, and then. <laughs> okay, go. <laughs> Bruhana Fubisi, Kosleg, Jeff and now Nuloy. Bring him, Bwisk, Johnny, Yorid, Jasapa, Paniru. Wait, I want to see what the traits are for the slot. Because I could put. Oh, I've got on a dark lane line. Ah, oh, I want just like on a lane line so you can have. <laughs> so you can, she can have twins, but. Teen Hangout. More teens hangout. Oh, there's got to be a neighbor with teens hangout. No, 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 I want people that like. <laughs> What's registered to vampire? Uh, I could have vampire Nexus. So then maybe like some vampire males that come around, I don't know. <laughs> you fast and smart, that could be good. Oh, uh, what is it? This. Because she does, um... Yeah, because she does painting. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Let's see if he's single, because it might be harder to get him to like us the the thing or I think he is I hope hey. he is <laughs> ah. Metal. Sanasa? Hmm. Fina Quiff Boy, Yes! Boy. He's single! Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Yes! Huh. Oh, she's very flirty. Oh. Can I do it now, please? Arp. Please, game. Yes! <laughs> I feel evil. <laughs> right, I feel oh, evil. Hey, Ben. Clana. Sibyl is Varspa. Shabby fuzz. <laughs> Ooh, I know. Oh, poop. Why, wolves? Why do you? Okay, there you go. I'm gonna get a shot, so I apologize, guys. After this big episode, you probably won't. See me doing it. I also put a timer, like if you guys don't want to see it right here, so. Okay, let's just leave him to it. <laughs> oh.
I don't want to watch this. <laughs> They'll just be creepy. Wait, does somebody just keep notifying? Yeah, I thought there was a notification. It says, break out the candles, make a romantic baby flag to the Ruhu for the first time. So he's rude? How dare he? <laughs> Oh, maybe not. <laughs> Just <laughs> creepily watching through the window. <laughs> okay, where's the toilet? I apologise to this, guys. I just really wanted to do 100 baby challenge. Why is my camera being so okay? I'm just gonna zoom out so I can see what the toilet is. <laughs> oh, okay. It was right there the whole time. Why she just she's just been standing for like <laughs> like four sim hours. Creeper. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I'm just I don't want to <laughs> Why? There you go. <laughs> I need to redo this house, this is just really annoying me right now. Okay, I'm in the shower. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna do it like this. No. Oh, yes, finally. She also needs a toilet, so that's the perfect time. Okay, this is the only angle we can apparently have. I just want to see her needs. Okay, she's hungry. And yeah, she needs the toilet, which she's doing right now. Is she? Ah. Yay! So, new anyway guys. I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you next time.